White sharks may disappear from our satellites, but they can't hide from sound. Did you know that we use sound emitting transmitters to help track white sharks? In addition to the satellite tags that we attach to the first dorsal fin, we also surgically implant smaller acoustic tags. And these acoustic tags send out a unique ultrasonic sound that serves as an ID for that particular tag. And thanks to the many different researchers out there, we have acoustic receivers scattered all along the coast of the United States and Canada that are essentially underwater listening stations for these types of tags. So if one of our acoustically tagged sharks swims within about a half mile or so of one of these receivers, the receiver will decode that signal, identify that individual shark's ID, and put a timestamp on that transmission. Four sharks we satellite tagged in Canada between 2019 and 2021, namely Hurdle, Bob, Vimy, and Teaser, haven't sent us a satellite location in years. But already in the first quarter of 2025, we've received a number of acoustic detections from these four sharks. So from that, we know that those sharks are still swimming around and still providing data on migration. And in all likelihood, they're probably back in Atlantic Canada right now. So speaking of coming back to Canada, our OSEARCH team has just arrived back to Nova Scotia and are ready to conduct more field work off Mahone Bay in collaboration with our colleagues from the Tankook Islands Marine Field Station. Maybe they'll meet up with these four sharks again, or maybe those four will be detected in one of the many acoustic receivers in Mahone Bay.